If you enjoy this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, you're gonna know. Right. Okay, we got it. Hey guys, I'm Maeve. And I'm Kendall. And we are Gearheads here at Backcountry, and we're gonna be talking to you guys today about the 55 liter black hole duffel bag. Well, you might be wondering why this doesn't look like a duffel bag, and that is because this duffel bag packs into its own pocket for easy transport when you want to stuff it in another bag. Pretty sweet. I also like it for um, just for storage. If you you know live in a small space or if you have a you know pretty organized gear closet, this just kind of makes it a little easier. You can fit it in a drawer if you wanted. Lots of options there. Totally. Should we bust it out? Let's do it. So if you purchase one of these, this will be the first step because it does come packed down when you buy it. And there is a lot more bag in here than you might think. Wow, it's huge. Ta-da. <laughs> so this is the 55 liter pack, as we mentioned. This is kind of in the middle of the sizing options from Patagonia. Um, I think it's a great size. What would you use it for? Honestly, doing a lot of like short weekend trips or even like five to seven day trips as well. But yeah, I think one of my favorite things about the bag is the material. Honestly, I love the look of this material. There's a lot of features that we can get into about the specifics of that, but the material is sweet as well as this main zipper that kind of wraps around the whole top here is super durable and um, sturdy. Specifics of the face fabric, it's 100% recycled. It's um, a polyester ripstop, so it's nice and abrasion resistant. And it also has a TPU film laminate, which is waterproof. And that's what kind of gives it this sheen that you're seeing with the light. I'm a big fan of this. Um, yeah, between the TPU laminate and the polyurethane coating, the durability, you can just instantly feel it. So we'll get moving with some of the external features on the bag. You can see we have these really nice daisy chains here. These are super clutch for like, maybe if you wanna strap the bag down inside a car, or if you just wanna clamp a carabiner on there, like with a set of gloves, or you know, even just like a keychain with your keys. I think that's a really nice option. We have a number of carry handles here and here. There's actually backpack straps that we can take out and put on. Sweet, so these are our straps. The application here is pretty easy. This is kind of your standard snap buckle. And then on the other side over here is like a buckle D-ring slot. And so you just slide this in. Um, and it actually has like a super nice secure hold there. So yeah, again, snap, D-ring. Super easy. Yeah, backpack. What do you prefer? A duffel like this or a roller bag when traveling? If I'm in the airport, I'm probably rocking a roller bag. So this duffel is com coming in clutch for me on road trips. My favorite part about a duffel is it on like a camping trip, you can leave it in the car and I just kind of like leave it open and I have my, my space. It's almost like my little closet, you know? Um, this thing has tons of capacity. I can just stuff things in there and like I like having the option of leaving it open. I can kind of see what I want to wear for the day. So that, that's my use for this bag. Totally. What about you? I think I agree to, yeah, to an extent. I think sometimes when I go to the airport, having a roller bag is nice. You wanna limit the weight on your back. Um, but other times it's really nice if you're traveling lightly. Um, I can just like pack everything I need in here and maybe have my wallet and keys and ID and like a jacket pocket and this is all I'm bringing. So if you're oh, yeah. really light, um, I sometimes like everything can be packed into this bag, which is great for me. On the note of durability, we have a nice, um, padded base to this bag, which I think for the road trip application makes all the sense. You know, you're literally tossing the bag into the back of the truck or into the car. I think it's, yeah, that's another nice durability feature. So let's open this guy up. We open this up, um, you know, today we're on the resort. So we have all of our kits in here, which is great. But this pocket up here, you know, is super breathable as you can see and meshed with some holes. So we stored, you know, our beanies or mittens to kind of like air out as they get wet from a day on the slopes, um, which is super great. So that's another awesome utility for this big pocket up here. Getting into this main compartment, it is literally just one huge pocket, which is awesome if you're just trying to stuff for maximum, you know, volume potential. But Patagonia does sell black hole MLC packing cubes in a variety of sizes. And so if you are a more organized person, I love these packing cubes. 
Um, they help with like smaller pieces. If you just like want to chuck all your socks in one, or if maybe you're going on a, like a bike trip and you have some tools and you want to just stick some things in their own little compartment. I think those sold separately packing cubes are really nice. So yeah, that pretty much covers it. Um, I think this bag, even as I'm zipping it up right now, we can, you know, feel the durability here in the zipper and all the features. I think you can really throw this bag into any sort of scenario and weather and it'll definitely withstand anything. Yeah, totally agree. And it holds a ton of stuff. All right, like you said, that is a wrap on the Black Hole Duffel. This is definitely an industry leader in terms of the durable duffel bag options out there. If any of you guys have questions about the Black Hole Duffel or anything from Patagonia, be sure to reach out to a gearhead and we'll make sure to answer your questions. Yeah, and if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys out there. You.